In this very short video, we'll answer the following question. If the matrix S is symmetric and invertible, is its inverse necessarily symmetric as well? And the answer is, yes it is. And the key to the answer is the eigenvalue decomposition. As we just discovered, the eigenvalue decomposition for a symmetric matrix looks like this. S equals X times lambda, the matrix of the eigenvalues with the eigenvalues in the diagonal, times X transpose. Not just inverse, as the case is with general, not necessarily symmetric matrices, but actually X transpose, because the eigenvectors of S are orthogonal and can be chosen orthonormal. And then the resulting matrix is called orthogonal and its inverse is its transpose. And then, of course, as you recall from our lengthy discussions on the eigenvalue decomposition, the inverse of the matrix S it has this form. You simply have to invert the middle diagonal matrix. So this is the inverse of the matrix S. And we're done. This is a signature for a symmetric matrix. A matrix times a diagonal matrix times the transpose of the first matrix. Any matrix that has this form is symmetric. I'm sure I don't need to remind you of the argument, but let me do it anyway for completeness sake. If I were to take the transpose of this matrix, I would have the product of the individual transposes in the opposite order. And so I would see X, lambda inverse, X transpose. So the transpose of this matrix is this matrix itself, and so it's symmetric. And so we have just concluded that the inverse of a symmetric matrix is necessarily symmetric itself.